Hey, good morning there, new guy. You were just born last night before I went to bed. Yeah, you kept me from getting to bed early. Good morning. Hey, good morning, you. Hey, good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Today is Thursday, July 2nd. And I hope everybody's doing great. Um I'm doing fine here today. Um it's another beautiful day. Obviously it did not rain last night. But uh anyways, um I'm just going out and about doing my normal stuff here and I am just um, double checking here in the dry cow shed here to make sure that nobody, nobody else calved. And we need to bed these guys here too. Um, obviously we, we did, we had a calf calf last night. It was just, I was just ready to walk up to the house to call it a quit, or to call it quits for the day. And I was just walking by this shed. I had to go out to the tractor and get a camera. Another camera, I was getting my stuff. They did some video footage off that other camera. Anyways, walking by here and I heard the sound of like, it sounded like somebody's like licking a calf off. And uh, you know what that sound sounds like if you've been on a dairy farm and anyway. So stopped in there and uh, peeked in there. Yep, the cow had a calf. So um, I got the calf um, in the calf barn here. Put it in there last night, so. We still gotta get that cow in and get our milk here yet. So anyways, um, we gotta milk, get the cow's milk, and then we got the hoof trimmer. He's coming here today. And uh, there's some cows that just need to have their hooves trimmed. And I'm sure there's gonna be some cows that are gonna have to have some blocks put on their feet. So there's a few cows that are kinda limping a little bit when they walk. Some of them have crooked, crooked hooves, so. But anyways, um, we're gonna get the cows milked, and by that time the hoof trimmer should be here. And then my brother, he's gonna work at trimming. He's gonna help the hoof trimmer guy trim the hooves while he's doing that. I'm gonna work at the other things like the feeding chores, and and as soon as it gets fit to go out and cultivate, I'm gonna go out and start cultivating because that needs to get done that one cornfield. Or at least I'm gonna look at it and see if it's not too too bad out there, too weedy. We might just even leave it because you know I don't want to cultivate out anymore corn if we have to if we don't need to why do it but we'll see we'll see what happens here so. See the hoof trimmer is here trimming hooves and uh, getting that job done with and yeah we've just been kind of procrastinating about it we've been busy with other things finally we just needed to take the time to do it just needed to get done so i'm glad we're getting her done i think the cows that have been having some foot problems lately they're going to be happy so uh, yeah, this hook trimmer, um, we've had him come down with it the last, I think it's the 
last three years. Actually, one of my cousins, well, one of my cousins once removed, I should say, was actually the one that, that used to own the portable business. This this guy that's doing it here now, um, his name is Ryan, and uh, he he bought the portable side, the portable um, chute and everything from my cousin once removed, and um, or second cousin, whatever you call him. Um, he, they have that their farm where they milk cows, him, him and his, his brothers and his dad, they run a, another dairy farm. It's a little bit bigger, obviously bigger than ours. They're, I think they milk around 400, I think it's 400 cows or so, somewhere in that area. Anyways, they have a chute there on the farm that's a fix that they use for their trimming their own cows, but they never had a portable one, and so he bought the one for my cousin second or once cousin once removed and um, yeah so we've been having him now for the last three years about the last three years and we've, we've been very pleased with his service so we just keep having him come you know and because my cousin used to own it that's another reason we like to patronize him but he's a, he's a really good guy we we like his work that's for sure so I'm gonna get down, try to get as much feeding done here, and then I'm gonna go out and try to cultivate some corn, or at least check the ground and see if it's ready so we can cultivate some corn. Holy smokers! It's a cooker in here! Oh, holy buckets! Whew, duh. Anyways, um. I'm gonna take this thing here up in the yard and then I gotta put some air in those uh eh, those little tires right there. I'm sure it leaked out another day. And then I'm gonna go out and see what this thing can do. We see just see how it works in the corn and see if the corn is too tall or whatever. Just just see how the corn is at least and how this cultivator because I don't know we've never put it on this tractor before so we'll find out here a little bit and the hoof trimmer guy he is still here I don't know if you can see him over there or not but he's still here he's almost done you can only trim cow's hoof so fast usually 30 30 40 is about what you know he can do in a good half full afternoon he got here about noon See what this thing does out, see what it does out in the field here. Okay, we're out in the field here, and uh, I mean, this field isn't, isn't too bad here, except for this spot right here. It's a little, where well, there's a lot of alfalfa. This is like where the, this is pretty close to the middle part of the field where we first struck out the first land, so that's why. So let's see here, let me get these, uh, get those set down. And, uh, one of these goes down faster than the other one. So yeah, so we'll be taking eight rows here. And obviously we have an eight row planter, so we gotta be through the third row in is where we drive. So we'll see how it works. Um, I might I might have to do some get out and do some adjusting. I'll see here, but hopefully I don't. So give me the rest of the field doesn't look too bad at all. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it because I'm afraid it'll do more damage than good. Um, you know, why cultivate it if you don't need to? The corn's gonna grow fast enough and shade the other stuff out. Uh, this field here, we're actually going to chop most of it, not all of it, but whatever it takes to fill the silo and maybe do part of a bag. So, let's give it a go.
part seems to be going okay. It's a little bit, little bit different than on an, on an open cab tractor like my 720, but uh, it's not too bad. Actually, I think it's a little bit easier with that super steer on here, but. But, um, yeah. Man, I, I don't know. This tractor definitely needs some Freon in it. It is not very cool in here. I'll say it that much. I'm going to have to get some Freon for this thing. It's just, an, it's just kind of an oven in here right now, so. I might just have to run to town and get some Freon. But, uh. Whew. I think I'm gonna have to strip butt naked <laughs> if I'm gonna stay in there thing so uh, so I'm gonna quick grab a can of uh, refrigerant and stick that in there and uh, we're gonna have to get that thing up uh, that, oops <coughs> got it in the wrong gear there Try to shift one-handed but yeah we're gonna have to get that thing looked at so I'm gonna grab that and um, go back to it Okay, as you can see, I'm back home. Um, the hoof trimmer, he just actually just left right now. We were just visiting with him for a little bit anyways. So that's all done with. Anyways, um, what I'm thinking here is actually um, that cornfield out there isn't really that bad. On um, what's there, that's weedy. I could run through with the four row if I want to. Um, but I actually, we need to get this over to that other field that's 12 miles here. So what I think I'm gonna do is tomorrow, before we take it over there, I'm just gonna dump this Freon in here because um, this thing, it's leaking. I mean, it's, it is fast, but it's not super fast. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this is where it's leaking. You see how all that dust and stuff right in there? I'm pretty sure it's gotta be leaking around that seals. Something with the compressor, but. Um, we don't have time to get get it replaced right now. We just dump Freon. Excuse me. Whew. We'll just dump the Freon in the morning before we go over to the field, or in the afternoon or whenever before we go over there. So that way it's it's nice and full. I got two pounds worth of Freon. I'm sure there's maybe only a pound left in there if I had to guess. So uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna take the four row, and I'm just gonna go out to the bean field out in front of my house and just go through that right now. And, just do that. So I'm gonna move this thing. I'm gonna park this thing someplace out of the way. And then my brother Steve, um, he just unhooked. The, he's gonna unhook the 8670 from the disc because um, my cousins over there, my first cousin Bill, he wants to use that tractor on the, my neighbor's land roller to do some land rolling on his hay fields. So um, they have a tractor that they could use on it but it's got a bad oil leak on it, so they're not gonna, they can't use that, so they need to borrow ours, or rent it, whatever you wanna say. So, my brother, he's gonna, he's gonna meet them up there at my neighbor's place, get the land roll, and my brother's gonna show them how to run it, unfold it, get the GPS set up for them, and so, I better just stop yakking and get going with that, get this thing moving, get the other cultivator out and go.
Okay. <laughs> I know that probably looks a little awkward to have that rock, this thing on here that I'm gonna use for a rock box. But uh, I just, you know, was gonna go out there and call it, and I remembered, oh yeah, that's right, I gotta pick some rock out there. So, I'm hoping this is gonna work, it should work. It's not as, probably as fast, and maybe the best is I would like it, but I think it's good enough. Um, so what I'll do when I get this thing full, I'll stop at the end of the field and uh, maybe just drop the rocks in the road ditch for now. Then maybe like later on we can come back with a loader and pick up one pile of rocks. But at least I got a way, a place I could put rocks for now when I'm out there. So, um, it's something, I guess. That's, that's all you can do. So I better get out there and do a little cultivating here quick. Okay, um, I got probably about, a, I don't know, probably about a third of the field done out there. So did some of the outside rounds. And so I just got, well, the rest of the field to do. <laughs> so this is about how much rock, if you could see in here, <laughs> it's kind of dark. I, yeah, uh, I make my phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went down a flashlight to turn on. There we go. Yeah, that's about how much rock I picked. Um, there's more rock out there. I'll get it. But anyways, I gotta finish up the feeding chores, grab a bite to eat here, or finish loading up the feeder wagon and for the cows, and grab a bite to eat here quick. So I don't know if I'll get time to get back out there tomorrow and finish it. Depends on if I gotta go over that field or if my brother can go. Just depends on how things work out. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is another day. Today is Friday, July 3rd, and uh, looks like it's going to be another warm one out here today. Um, I'm just going to get the milk cows in and start milking. And the plan for today is to try to get over there and start cultivating that other cornfield that's um, in that one field that's 12 miles from here and our furthest away rented ground I should say and uh, get that done or start over there and hopefully maybe try to get that soybeans field uh, finish uh, cultivating a soybean field and um, obviously I got to add some refrigerant to that tractor in here too so, but first, uh, we'll get the cows in. Cows are out there waiting. We'll get them in and then uh, milk, and then we'll see see what we get done because I think they're talking a chance of rain tonight. Okay, I better get this thing here fired up and. Uh, Get that refrigerant in this thing. I think my brother, he's gonna go over to that other field and he's gonna cultivate that corn. So I gotta get this uh, pre on. Get this stuff put in there. 
Whew. Otherwise, it will be a sauna. Well, it's cooling a lot better than it was before, but it's still still needs more Freon. I think at least it needs another can. I mean, I put about two pounds of Freon in here. I think, I don't know what this one's supposed to hold, but I'm sure it's a little bit over three pounds, three and a quarter pounds, maybe. I don't know, so, but it really should have one more can in here, but we need to get that thing fixed. It's gotta be the compressor. That's the problem. It's gotta be worth leaking, but. Um, I might have to run back into town later for something else. I might pick up another can, but it's cooling way better than it did yesterday. I mean, it's not as cool as it could be in here, but it's way better. So, anyways, I better get back to my feeding chores, and then my brother, he can take this over to the field over there and start cultivating. And uh, maybe I'll give him the camera so he can get some footage over there. Okay, I got a quick run to town here. As I mentioned earlier, I gotta go to the feed store and grab some stuff here before they close here. I'll have to come back and finish that up. I have had so many little distractions come up. Uh, there's some lady here that came to get some milk. She came, and then the, I forgot to, the mailman. Um, he, uh, he brought this. It's the uh, it's some signs and stuff for our those organic do not spray signs. So I gotta I gotta get that thing opened up and get those. So um, yeah. So anyways, I gotta I gotta take my boots off here and put on my regular shoes and run to town quick and get some feed. Okay, I just got done at the feed store there. I'm just gonna quick run over here and I think grab another can of Freon quick and uh, Just do that and maybe grab an energy drink cuz I think I need one so yeah. Okay, I'm back from town and I forgot before I went to town I was kind of in a hurry, but I forgot to take the water tank out to the cows. So we're gonna be thirsty and that tire is a little squatty. I have to put some air in that. So I got to quick run the water tank out to the cow, then work at doing a little bit of the feeding chores. And I better get out there and get the rest of that bean field cultivated because it's probably going to rain tonight. I think it is.
as good a spot as any to throw these rocks out here. There's a little water gully in here and uh, might as well. <laughs> okay. Just got my truck parked back over here. I had to unload the stuff that was in there, the soda, um, baking soda and barn lime. Well, I did that a while ago. This got done feeding the milk cows and now we're ready to start milking. But before I could do that, I just gotta grab a quick little snack before I start milking because I'm, hung my hung I'm hungry. And my brother and my nephew are actually gonna get started milking while I just grab my quick little snack. But anyways, um, as far as uh, I'm out in front of my house if you don't know I'm out in front of my house Out here standing under the Street light and there's the bean field. You can't see it maybe but Anyways, yep, we're all done here. Um, well, I didn't get done cultivating um, uh, Because I had to stop and pick rock so um, That's what took so long with picking all that rock, but I probably got another with you know, maybe another couple hours left and I get done. It just takes longer when I gotta pick the rock. If we don't pick the rock, we'll have trouble. We'll hit the combine or combine will pull rock in and we gotta do it. But I just wanna use a four row because the four row does a really nice job out here. So anyways, I gotta go. The mosquitoes are eating me alive. They're just, they're, oh, man, they're just on to me like uh, crazy. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check me on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Damon. And uh, if you're watching this a week later from now, I hope you had a great fourth. Um, obviously today is the third, but everybody's shooting off fireworks this evening. You can see it out there, and uh, you can see the moon. And there's Jupiter over there, and Saturn somewhere over there too. But <laughs> anyways, guys, I appreciate all the subscriptions. So, and I just appreciate all the comments. I'm sorry I get behind in the comments. I have just been so busy. We got so much to do. We got to finish cultivating. We got to get ready for a second cut in hay. That's right around the corner. And there's a ton of work. But anyways, have a good night. And take care. And I'll catch you later.